I'm showing you Meteorist, which is a pretty cool add-on for Meteor Client. To get it, I've got their GitHub page right over here. I'm going to link it in the description below. We want to go over to the Releases tab, where we can find the latest release for 1.21.10, which is also the latest game version at this point in time, which is quite neat. Of course, it works for a bunch of other versions as well, so if you want those, check them out. But yeah, Meteorist is an add-on for Meteor that adds useful utilities for non-vanilla anarchy servers. Of course, that is the main focus, but that doesn't mean you can't use it for literally anything else. Of course, we will also need Meteor Client for this. I'll link their website right down in the description below. I'm going to get it for 1.21.10 as well. We'll be brought to this ad page. Just don't click on anything here if you're not experienced with downloading Meteor. Wait until you can see a skip button over here. Click on that and your download will start. And of course, you can also use this along with Baritone if you'd like, which if you don't know what Baritone is, it is incredible cool. I'll have a video on that in the description below. Now that we have Meteorist and Meteor Client in our downloads, we can simply go ahead and put these in the mods folder. So to get there, open up, uh, press on Windows and R at the same time, and then type in app data. In this location, go into the folder called Roaming, then .minecraft, and then of course your mods are right over here. Simply drag in both Meteor Client and Meteorist, and once you've done that, we can close this up and open up the Minecraft launcher. Now to use Meteor, of course you do need to have Fabric installed for 1.21.10 or whatever version you're using it for. If you don't have this yet or you're not sure where to get it, I will link it down in the description below. But right now we can just launch the Fabric Loader 1.21.10. Here inside of Minecraft, you'll know that it worked if you can see the Meteor Client and Meteorist watermarks right up there. For right now though, I'll just head into a small single player world and briefly show you how to get started. So inside of Minecraft, if you've never used Meteor before, then you might want to watch a tutorial on that. I'll link it in the description. But basically, we can click on the right shift button on our keyboard and that is going to open up the Meteor Client click GUI area. This is contains basically everything that meets your client has to offer. There is so many things here. We can click on them to turn them on, click them once again to turn them off. We can right click on these for these neat little customization menus, and you can hover above these for a description of exactly what they do. Now, everything on the left hand side over here is all default Meteor. And then what Meteorist does is they basically add their own little tab over here containing a bunch of Meteorist specific things. Now, one of the great things about Meteorist is that it is compatible with a bunch of other Meteor Client add-ons. I will link a few more in the description if you want to check them out. But basically, there's a bunch of other add-ons as well that also add their own drop-down menu to this UI with a bunch of things. And you can combine like three or four of them at the same time if you want that, which I mean, that's definitely sick. But basically, as you can see, Meteorist right over here, all these utilities integrate perfectly. So we can hover over these as well for a description. We can right click on these as well for this customization menu over here, which all looks exactly like the default Meteor modules, but you can see a little from Meteorist tag over here, letting you know that this module has been added by Meteorist. And for the rest, it works the exact same. You can still favorite these with a little star over there, and you can customize them exactly how you want. And Basically, all the things in here, this is just what Meteorist adds. There isn't really anything else anywhere that is hidden that Meteorist adds as well. Some of my favorite things that Meteorist adds are a bunch of automization things. There is auto crafter, auto feeding, auto healing. There's so many automization things in here that can just enhance your gameplay experience like that. There is also Zoom Plus, which if you guys know the default Optimine Zoom, you can press on C and then zoom in. So we can, for example, set the keybind C to this. There we go. And then we can use that to zoom in. Except the perk of this is that this is a lot more customizable. If we enter into the customization menu here once again, you can change so many things about how this zooms. It's honestly insane and also over-engineered but definitely fantastic and then finally over here there's also this nerd vision module which well right now just well i think these are the spawning chunks you can view them better if you leave your camera here and then use free cam but nerd vision basically allows you to see a bunch of game mechanics um like the spawn ranges which we can see here but 
There's a whole bunch of other things as well. For example, turtle egg spawners, iron golems, just stuff like that. <laughs> just, just look at the amount of customization. So for right now, I guess that was basically that for Meteorist. Definitely drop your favorite Meteor client add-on in the comments below and I'll check that out. But for right now, thank you all ever so much for watching. And I do, of course, hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.